my name is William James. I'm Professor of Virology uh, in the University of Oxford. I've been based here at the William Dunn School of Pathology for the last almost 40 years. My role in the COVID-19 response has been to oversee the core virus laboratory, containment level 3 laboratory, uh, which has been servicing all of the projects uh, in the area. So when the COVID-19 pandemic hit our shores, we obviously had to stop working on all other projects. And it was great that we were in a position to be able to convert our laboratory into being a core virus laboratory for the COVID-19 epidemic. Of course, it's been an extraordinary amount of work and I've been supported by a large number of, of research assistants and students in making these things work. Um, and it's sort of settled down to a nice pattern now, but it went through a phase of being really hard work. I'm Dr. Maeva Dupont, a postdoctoral fellow. So I'm studying host cells interaction with SARS-CoV-2 in order to identify the infection cycle of the virus within targeted cells. And basically my work is focused on imaging infected cells to understand exactly how the virus is invading the cell and to try and find targets to block the virus replication or dissemination from one cell to another. So my name is Javier Gilbert and I'm doing a DFID in pathology. So my research is mainly on macrophages and how they conduct inflammatory responses in different diseases such as Zika pathology and COVID-19. I think the output of my research is going to contribute not just to the actual pandemic uh, but also giving features on how different viruses such as uh, the family of coronaviruses can affect a population and then uh, we will have tools if we can call it like that for the next future in case something happens again. My name is Michael Knight and I'm doing a DPhil in interdisciplinary bioscience. So what I'm studying at the moment is how different antibodies are able to, to neutralize and inhibit the coronavirus. So basically we um, add these antibodies to the virus and see um, what ability that compound has to stop the virus being infectious. From it's been a really rewarding experience to take part in such a collaborative effort when often our, our research can be much more individualistic. One of the great things about Oxford, and I remember noticing when I first came here from Birmingham all those years ago, was although it's a very ancient university, it's been at the cutting edge of research, scientific research, particularly in medical sciences, for many decades now. And, and I guess one of the things that you can't escape in this department is the history of the development of penicillin, where it was the first place uh, in the world to demonstrate that it was a useful drug in patients. And that's been a continuous sort of tradition in Oxford ever since, that new research underpins new clinical advances that make real differences uh, to real people.